This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. A carjacking leads to a high-speed police chase with three suspects now in custody. KHOU.com reports from Houston. Three men are in custody after a carjacking led to a high-speed car chase in northeast Houston, according to Harris County Sheriff's Office, just after 3 a.m. Thursday, when three suspects carjacked a male victim at gunpoint in the parking lot of a Home Depot. The suspect struck the victim over the head and made off with his car. However, the suspect failed to notice that there was a sheriff's deputy in the same parking lot who just happened to witness the crime. The deputy took off after the suspects in the stolen car with the deputy chasing them. The suspects then turned into an apartment complex. Deputies surrounded them and quickly caught all three suspects. The carjacking victim was transported to the hospital in stable condition. A Hill County Sheriff and Deputy is charged in a state licensing scandal. WFAA.com reports from Hillsboro. The Hill County Sheriff, his Chief Deputy, and two others are facing criminal charges in connection with allegations that they falsified state licensing and jail records. Sheriff Michael Cox, a former Hillsboro officer who took office in 2013, faces three counts of tampering with a government document. The Hill County Attorney's Office received a tip of misconduct occurring with the Sheriff's Department. Arrest warrants for Cox, Chief Deputy Mark Wilson, former jail captain Leroy Rodriguez, and jailer Brian Wingett were issued Wednesday. All of the charges are state jail felonies punishable by up to two years in jail. Texas lawmakers could open liquor stores to retailers like Walmart. KVUE.com reports from Austin. Texas lawmakers are considering whether to allow publicly traded retailers, such as Walmart, to open their own liquor stores. A Senate committee heard testimony Wednesday morning on a bill that would permit publicly traded companies to open their own liquor stores, which could operate right alongside their big box locations. The Senate Committee on Business and Commerce left the bill pending after Wednesday's hearing. A companion House Bill 1225 has been referred to the House Committee on Licensing and Administrative Procedures and has yet to receive a hearing. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.